should be able to have. It is mesmerizing to see how everyone could actually, how everyone can experience such a culture that isn't seen much in media. For Marvel to portray the black community. I've seen like superhero movies, I've seen like action movies, but I haven't seen a movie that impacted me in a way, in like, in like that wow factor that this movie gave me. It had my, it had my emotions flowing everywhere from like, Oh my god, I hate this guy to like, oh, whoa, I love this guy, <laughs> he's the best, he deserves to like totally win. I have to <laughs> say, other than the female soldiers, his ending, the ending of the movie when they went to the United Nations, and he made that very powerful speech basically saying that we can't be separated and we have to stop the hate, you know, that kind of thing. That was like Marvel's making a point and it's a very strong point that hopefully everybody can see when they see this movie. I have to go back to the main villain's death scene where he um, he talked about like he, he would rather die than to be locked up and that really made me feel like wow this is what it's really like and some people are actually like that people who fight for what they live for and everything and i'm like that, that that was a pretty good perspective for me usually in movies like this you don't see as many you know people of color um, sh being shown that much in the screen and to have a character being the main character playing the main roles in the movie being a person of color I think that's a big step and for for people of color in the movie industry maybe this can be shown in a prideful way instead of being seen in like the very stereotypical like savages and they can be shown as intelligent technologically advanced aspiring world that they're in Okay, so <laughs> listen, when the trailers came out and everyone saw it was a Black Panther movie and everyone saw that the main character was gonna be black, that alone sparked like Don't millions are gonna see this movie because right. everyone in it was black and I it off putting. <laughs> like, like like literally I just saw like a picture on like Facebook today where it was like, So y'all just gonna go into this movie because all this other <laughs> black people in it right, and then right. underneath the replier was like, uh yeah and I'm like, uh <laughs> yeah, no, like, can you not? Yeah, it's really. not okay. That was crazy. Educate yourself, fam. Don't just walk in there because oh, there's black people in it. Like the jeez, let's go watch a black movie. Guys. Let's go make a black yeah. movie. <laughs> and then like there's the talk of oh, this is the first black movie ever hit big picture. Well, there was Blade. There is right. Hancock. Right. Like wow. there are like, there's so many. There are so many other ones. And the Black Panther should have been got a movie. A while ago. A long time ago. A long time I'm ago. I'm glad they waited until now so the movie could actually be <laughs> yeah, like as really good as good. it was. Yeah, so. I'm like, I'd rather not have Wesley Snipes as Darla. <laughs> 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 Snipes deserved to be in the last play movie. <laughs> so. My reaction was this is dope <laughs> because in Wakanda and like the Panther community, I'm going to say that they had the women as the soldiers the main soldiers so it's just like dang finally <laughs> that's about it's like wow that is so cool to see that they have the most elite training they had they were the smartest because his sister was brilliant it's just they were the main control of everything and you know the saying goes um you don't have like a good king without his queen and you can tell that that really was like a central part of it it was really cool yeah they were treated equally also probably like the head 
because it was just it was either stand down or get kicked it, there were no arguments when it came to the females in the movie at all they were the scary ones <laughs> Probably expect more from film filmmakers. <laughs> Same. <laughs> like, not saying that like every single filmmaker ever has to have a movie take place in Africa and like follow like people like this, but just saying like if they do, or to portray people of color, like do it in the most authentic matter like this film did. My expectations for a film like this put on a higher bar, and so I guess that's really where. I'll go from here after watching this movie. But I was born, I was <laughs> raised in America. I have American, African American parents. I have been like around Americans the majority of my life. I identify more with American culture, American people, more than I do African people, African and that and its culture. <laughs> But that's not really to say like I would completely denounce it. I'm just, it's just, I don't really connect with it, but I'm willing to learn about it. it used to be, I am completely open to any culture, to any way of life, so and I'll appreciate it and respect it any way you want to. I might even adapt some of that into my life like I have currently. So like, it's pa parents hate that. There's like <laughs> nothing wrong so with much. other cultures. You can be appreciating every culture and the way that they live I think it would be a way better way to live opening your mind and just taking everything in that Absolutely. people have to offer but yeah and as an anime buff I mean just really, really like Black Panther yeah it's, more, it's like that's more the character and the actual depiction of been, like Africa there could have been a, a, an amount of white people in the in the movie and I would have still watched it <laughs> I mean the amount of black people being in the movie I think it was super cool I think it well was done. good to represent black people in that way but me being a Marvel Black Panther fan I would have still came to the movie regardless. <laughs> In this film, they're shown to be like a cooperative, brilliant. wholesome, brilliant culture. 